Want to make logging in easier for your users? In this video, I'll show you how to set up Facebook as a social login for your BuddyBoss site and app. From creating the Facebook app to configuring it for iOS and Android, we'll cover everything you need to get started. Let's dive in. First, make sure you've enabled social login on your BuddyBoss site. Navigate to BuddyBoss, Settings, Registration, and activate the feature. Once enabled, you'll see options to configure Facebook's social login. Keep this tab open, as we'll need to copy and paste some information later. Next, head to the Facebook developer site at developers.facebook.com. Log in with your Facebook account and click the Create App button. Fill in the app name and contact email. Please note that the app name you specify here will appear on the consent screen. Then choose Authenticate and Request Data from users with Facebook login as your use case. Next, select the business portfolio you want to connect this app with. Click through the steps and proceed to your app dashboard. From your app dashboard, select the Use Cases tab and click Customize. Click Add next to Email. Then from the left menu, click Settings and add your website's OAuth redirect URI. If you're unsure about your site's redirect URL, you can find it in the Facebook pop-up we viewed earlier. Look for the line labelled Redirect URL. Click Save Changes. If the page appears blank, simply refresh to see your updated settings. Now go to App Settings, then click Basic. Here you'll need to complete the required fields. Your app domain, privacy policy URL, and data deletion instructions. If you haven't already created a privacy policy, make sure it explains how you handle user data and deletion requests. You'll also need to upload an app icon and select a category for your app. Scroll down and add the website platform. Enter your site URL and save your changes. By default, your application only has standard access for the public profile and email permissions, which means that only you can log in with it. To get advanced access, you'll need to complete the business verification starting with the verification tab on the left side. To enable advanced access, complete the app verification process. Go to the review section, then click app review. Click Edit next to your current request. Answer the data handling questions. Please note that when completing these questions for your app, it's essential to provide clear and accurate answers to ensure compliance with Facebook's policies. Once done, click Submit. Next, complete the app verification process. First, you'll need to provide verification details. Provide Facebook with step-by-step -step instructions on how a reviewer can test your integration. After that, explain how your app will use the Advanced Access Email permission and how it will use the Advanced Access Public Profile permission. Once completed, submit your app for review. After doing all that, your app is now ready to be published. From the left menu, navigate to the Publish tab and click Publish at the bottom of the page. Next, go to the Required Actions tab and click Get Started on the Annual Data Use Checkup. Simply complete all tabs here for verification, data handling, usage check, testing instructions, and terms and policies. Provide accurate and detailed information for each section, then click Submit. Once all are done, click on the App Settings tab, then click Basic. After publishing, 
copy your app ID and app secret key, which you can reveal by clicking the show button. Go back to your BuddyBoss social login settings and paste them into the Facebook fields. Click Save Changes. A pop-up will appear prompting you to log in with Facebook to complete the setup. Facebook social login should now be working for your website. To enable Facebook social login in your mobile apps, you'll need to add iOS and Android platforms in the Facebook developer dashboard. Let's do that now. We are still on the app settings page under the basic tab. At the bottom of the page, click add platform. Let's start with iOS. Click next. Enter your release and test app bundle IDs, which you can find in BuddyBoss app plugin, configure, iOS settings, app configuration. Click Add Platform again, and this time select Android and click Next. From the Android Store pop-up, select Google Play, then click Next again. For Android, you'll need key hashes. To generate key hashes, you'll need your SHA One Certificate fingerprint first. To get this certificate, navigate to BuddyBoss app, Build. Then click the drop-down next to your Release or Test app and download your SHA One Certificate fingerprint. Once downloaded, go to our written documentation for this tutorial and paste your SHA One Certificate fingerprint into the hex converter. Then click Convert. Copy the encoded string and paste it into key hashes. Next, enter your release and test app application IDs, which you can get from BuddyBoss app, configure, Android settings page. Finally, for the class name, enter com.bbapp.mainactivity. Once everything is configured, click Save Changes. Now let's go back to our WordPress site. Put a check to enable Facebook social login, then click Save Settings. If the Facebook login checkbox is still greyed out, click the pencil icon and select Verify Settings. This should finalize the setup. For the BuddyBoss app customers, navigate to BuddyBoss app, build, and request a new build. This ensures that all recent changes are fully implemented and reflected in your app. And that's it! Your Facebook social login is now set up for both your website and apps. Make sure to test the login process to ensure everything is working smoothly. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more BuddyBoss tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.